Calgary Emergency Medicine is one of the best training programs in the country. I think it, it is actually, uh, you know, the best program in the country in my humble opinion. Uh, it has really nothing to do with the program itself and more to do with the people in the program. One of the things that makes Calgary re really unique as a residency program is the ratio of patient population and pathology and preceptors to the number of residents. There's really no other program in the country that will have the same type of clinical experience and exposure. We're a fairly small program with only four residents. We work in a city with a catchment area of over a million um, people with five tertiary care hospitals um, and still only four residents. And what that means is you really, for the most part, get to work one-on-one -on -one with our amazing FRCPC and EM preceptors. We have one of the best relationships between staff and residents here. Um, I can't speak for other programs, but here it's just it's just very cohesive. Uh, one of the best things I think is the fact that it's almost impossible to sign up for teaching sessions with the residents. Every single physician at our staff want to be teaching residents. You'll find good clinical educators everywhere, uh, but I think in Calgary you're going to find a lot of people who care about how you're doing as a person. Within five minutes of showing up for my first shift, I felt so welcome and included in the program. And I think that was for a number of reasons, but one of the main ones was how our staff were so encouraging and really took the time to um, know things about us, know our names, know where we did med school, what we were interested in, and really took the time to talk to us. From day one, I feel like we were treated as a colleague. How can I overlook that opportunity to be part of such a supportive and obviously amazing program full of a group of people that are, you know, incredible clinicians, but also incredibly supportive human beings. Every program talks about like the family and how it feels, but it, it wasn't words. It was, it was actually just actions and I just became a part of it. Um, I'd never lived in Calgary and Calgary very quickly felt like home. The transition to discipline program um, essentially is the first three months of residency. It's where the resident builds that identity as an emergency physician. They start to build the very um, first competencies related to being an emergency physician and practicing like an emergency physician. Our residents spend that entire time in the emergency department uh, working quite closely with our staff and in particular working pretty closely with their longitudinal preceptor who's somebody that um, supports them um, throughout the first year of residency and they work quite closely with. Um, the other thing they participate in is, is a sort of a sim boot camp um, where they get to kind of participate in some of the early kind of resuscitation scenarios and really get their feet wet um, in emergency medicine practice. So in terms of what our academic day looks like, it's a full day. It's all resident run and so all of our teaching is from residents so we teach each other, we're studying at the same time and we're helping each other get better um, and it's with all residents from seniors all the way down to juniors and we all get down to everyone's level and help each other out which is great. They're quite impressive rounds in terms of how much preparation goes into them. And to build on that we're fortunate to have a lot of hands-on um, experiences through our academic days so we have two airway days where we have opportunity to go into a dry lab as well as a wet lab and intubate on cadavers and um, every other year we'll have a, a big procedure day where we're practicing burt holes and thoracotomies and lateral canthotomies and all that kind of stuff. We're actually really unique in Calgary in that as far as our area of interest goes the sky is the limit like if you can dream it we can make it happen for you. We have had residents who have done formalized training in tropical medicine through universities that are abroad and through international electives. We've had residents who have performed helicopter EMS fellowships. And we've also had residents who have really created their own niche areas. So for example, we recently had a resident who decided that her area of interest was stroke research and fellowship. And so she actually holds dual appointments across both departments. And we have residents who have also pursued areas of interest in things like palliative care and sports medicine. So we have two retreats. We have one in the summer and one in the winter. Um, so the summer retreat is residents only. We get the opportunity to learn a lot about each other uh, in a very non-clinical setting where we just get to hang out as friends. So we normally rent um, this adorable little house on an acre of property, has a hot tub, has a river, has a bunch of space where we can play games. We have a winter retreat as well. As a resident group, we sit down with our program director and our assistant program director 
and we have a very frank and honest discussion about what we can do to make our program better. The Saturday of retreat, we often go through some team building, but also some professional development sessions where we can ask our staff a lot more of the kind of personal questions of residency about how do you balance family? How do you balance finances? The APD and the PD are always in touch. We always know what's going on. We can essentially exchange roles if we need to. The residents know that if there's a problem where there's something that they need, they can always get a hold of one of us. They can text us, they can email us, they can call us, they can come by the office. Whatever they need, we're there for them. We have a very blended program and a very close relationship between the EMs and the FR programs. Both programs strive for the same ideal that we are looking to train the best emergency physicians that we can, uh, but we come from different backgrounds uh, and I think we take those differences in Calgary uh, and take every advantage from it, uh, enhancing our program by having a really close relationship between the FRs and the EM programs. So I think in the last probably two to three years, I'd say wellness has become a really big focus both staff-wise as well as resident-wise and I think COVID sort of brought it even more to the forefront. Um, the department itself, like the administrative side of the department, has been super supportive of any wellness initiatives. We've had a lot of wellness related grand rounds. We've had a lot of specific check-ins both with staff and with residents, especially during the heart of COVID. A good example is the first time people were intubating. Um, something that just seems so second nature to us became such a big deal. Um, and so there was a list at each of the sites that was kept of whether it was a resident, whether it was a staff who was intubating, and they'd get a call afterwards to sort of debrief, talk about it, make sure that there weren't any sort of angst or anxieties or things that had come up that hadn't been addressed, but sort of that one-on-one -on -one check in. And that's just one small example of some of the like wellness initiatives that have been put in place. Calgary is a beautiful city in and of itself, and it's got everything you need for a big city, like a hockey team and an orchestra and the ballet. The city's been doing, I think, a good job at revitalizing the core and trying to bring more arts and culture. I think Calgary's becoming much more of a diverse city, kind of up and coming restaurant scene. Um, and the city itself is gorgeous. You can go for runs in the city, bike in the city. As a young person, um, kind of in training and, and trying to pay off debt, I also found that it was a really affordable place to live. The beautiful thing about Calgary is you can be outside in the mountains in, in half an hour or 45 minutes. The mountains are incredible. You don't get this access uh, to the mountains really anywhere else actually in Canada. Um, Cross-country skiing on a World Cup course uh, or downhill skiing, hiking, mountain biking, all that cool stuff is right at our doorstep and it's just so easy to get out of. And the other thing is how much sun we get. Emergency medicine and emergency medicine training is all about juggling lots of you know competing demands on your time and living in a place like Calgary gives you the ability to juggle um, more things easier. So at 6 a.m. you just woke up and you just put some elbow grease into grinding some naturally processed coffee. Now the aroma is just wafting up from those coffee beans and you make yourself a nice pour over. And that's what I think the relationship in Calgary is. You have the hard days, the days where you don't feel like waking up in the morning. You put some elbow grease into them and you realize it's actually a nice, bright, flavorful experience.